What's up everyone, Mark here from Jensen USA with my right hand man Alex for all things product reviews and first hand knowledge to help make your decisions easier when shopping with us. In today's video, we got the top five picks on aluminum bars. So if you're looking for more durability, a cheaper cost and a little bit better feel, sit back. We're gonna go over our top five picks and make it easier for you. All right, so you've made the choice that aluminum is the type of bar that you want to run on your bike, whether that's, you know, a cost effective means or you want that durability to be able to, you know, bend it back on the trail or you just want to trust the bars that you're riding and weight isn't really a deal. That's awesome. That's great. So we came up with five picks here to kind of go over, you know, what these are. And the first pick we want to go over here are these Spank Vibro Cores. Now these are, you know, pretty unique when it comes to aluminum bars uh, in the sense that it's your typical aluminum bar, but right off the bat, I'm gonna go over the first point here. And what that term VibroCore is, is they actually put a foam injection into the bar to not only increase the stiffness, but also give that dampening effect uh, when you're riding. So you're gonna get a lot of that trail chatter like removed from that dampening effect from this VibroCore that they put in there. But that also increases the durability of the bar. Um, Faith, one of our riders here at Jensen, she personally rides these bars and swears by these bars. She said from the minute she put it on her bike, she was able to get that reduction and that hand fatigue dramatically uh, decreased. So with the Spank Vibro Cores, these are gonna be eight back and five up when it comes to them. And they're coming in at 300 grams, which isn't too crazy heavy for an aluminum bar, especially one, you know, that has a foam injection. So if you know, you're not really too worried about, you know, weight and all that sense, this might be a good option. And uh, maybe you ride really hard and you want that strength or whatever it may be, this, the Spank Vibro Course is probably the choice for you. All right, so this next bar that we're gonna go over is the Deity CZ40 bar. Uh, this is Cam Zink's signature model, and what he did with this is he went with something a little bit higher rise, so it's 40 mil rise, and it's got a nice back sweep to it, so uh, the reason that he runs this height and this bend is because he has some shoulder issues similar to me. Um, I'm personally a big fan of Deity bars. I've been running them for years. Um, I really like how durable they are. I like the feel of them. Uh, I've, I've bent these bars before, but still been able to, to ride with them, so that's one of the advantages of aluminum that I like is if you do get in a crash, you're still going to be able to ride um, and you're not going to have to worry about them snapping on you. All right, and quickly adding real quick, because uh, you know weight isn't important for a lot of people. These bars are coming in one of the heaviest aluminum bars that we've chosen, but I think that has to do with that durability issue. If you're sending big jumps and stuff, like some extra grams isn't really going to be a big deal. So like these bars come in at 365 grams, which is on that heavier side, but last thing you care about is, you know, 40 grams of weight if you're sending, you know, 40 foot, 60 foot kickers and things like that. So Yeah, this is definitely like a free ride oriented uh, bar. So it's gonna have a little extra weight, but you're gonna have that peace of mind with a butted aluminum. Uh, you're gonna have that strength. These things aren't gonna bend under compression. So, yep. yeah. Yeah, so uh, the CZ40s, they come with a 9.5 back sweep and a five up. So like Alex said, a little bit more ergonomically comfortable for you. So if you got shoulder issues or anything like that, uh, it's gonna be a great bar. I also like the camo effect. The Cam Zinc model is pretty sick. Um, if you're a camo fan, they also have this butted aluminum technology here, which just adds a little bit more durability on there. I mean, if you're ripping trails like Cam Zinc, that's kind of something you're really looking for is to trust that bar and make sure it like survives whatever you're, you know, you're sending. So if you're looking for that type of effect on a bar, you're looking for, you know, a good look, strong bar, cool sweep, and you know, good comfortability, then you know, probably the DD CZ40s are for you. All right, next up in the pick is the Renthal Fat Bar Aluminums. Uh, these are pretty staple when it comes to, you know, trail bike riding specifically. Like these bars are designed very much for trail bike riding, for trail riding, I guess you could say. Whereas their carbon form on these bars is more oriented to downhill racing. So you can kind of figure out like where you sit and you know, what's your preference on these bars. So these are only a seven back, so a little less on that back sweep, but they're still that typical five up. Um, and these are coming in at 305 grams. So not heavy, not super light, kind of sitting right there in that nice uh, medium ground. Uh, it, these bars just fit good. This is that really good default bar 
Um, it's going to be your all-around aluminum bar. You're going to have a great time on this bar. A lot of trustworthy feeling there. Um, and these are just the Renthal fat bars. All right, so next up we got the one-up bars. Um, these have that same kind of oval uh, profile to them that they have on their other bars. Um, that Basically what that's going to do is give you some compliance out on the trail. Uh, makes it a very comfortable bar, reduce some of that vibration and hand fatigue. Um, they come in at 337 grams, which is a pretty fair weight for aluminum bars. Um, if you are a fan of 1UP and their other components, I think you'll definitely be a fan of these. Um, they definitely provide something a little bit different than other bars in the market with that profile. Um, I think they're a great choice. What do you think? Yeah, so I think, you know, 1UP likes to keep that kind of default, you know, uh, eight back, five up kind of feel on there. Uh, they're really known for that patented like oval design to really give you that up and down vertical compliance, which you know you really desire as a rider. Um, I think I would just add that like, if you're not the aluminum rider, the best thing about this one up bar is they have the carbon option as well. So uh, essentially you could have both, take them both out and ride them both and kind of get, am I aluminum? Am I carbon? Like, where do I sit? And it's both basically identical bar, just the material is changing. The entire shape and everything is all there for you to kind of give it that aspect. Um, but I think this high grade aluminum is, you know, really well made and it's going to give you that really nice compliance. It's going to give you that good feel, that good durability um, that you want in an aluminum bar. And last up we got here is the PNW range, and this is the version three. So just from the start, when you hear something like version three, you know that there's some bit of like trust in the way they've designed something when they've been able to do multiple versions and continue to build off that and design it further and further to better the rider. So, you know, PNW, great company with a lot of trustworthy parts and stuff. Um, you're gonna immediately see on these bars that like, there's a lot of sweep here going on, right? So we got 10, uh, back and we're five up. So super ergonomic designed on these bars. Uh, PNW really, you know, put that focus on ergonomics when it comes to these bars um, in the sense that like, if you have shoulder issues or wrist issues or elbow issues or whatever it may be, getting out of that kind of eight five and starting to change different degrees and sweeps is where it's gonna help you figure out where you fit the most comfortable uh, riding position and get you longer pedaling and keep you in the saddle longer. Um, so these bars, you know, are 314 grams, so they're not too heavy. I think they look cool. I love the designs on them um, and they fit really good. I have a lot of shoulder and elbow issues. So like these bars feel like they could really offer, you know, just a little bit more saddle time um, and keep me out there pedaling more. Yeah. Yeah. I think they look great. I really like the, the stylish graphics. Um, it's nothing too crazy and loud, but it's definitely going to give you something different out on the trail. Um, yeah, these bars actually do feel pretty light, and uh, I appreciate the extra sweep on this for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, me on like my dirt jumper, I ride a pretty high rise and, you know, back sweep, but, you know, that gives me a good, comfortable, you know, position when it comes to hitting the pump track and things like that. So I think, you know, keeping that in mind, uh, if you're a rider and trying to figure out where you fit the most comfortable, maybe you've had some, you know, injuries that you're dealing with and you're trying to get back on your bike and get those longer pedals with friends, like maybe this is the bar that's going to get you back out there and kind of figure out, you know, what's the best position to keep you riding and having a better time. All right, to summarize our five picks here at Jensen um, and kind of help you get a little bit TLDR, maybe figure out which bar is for you. If you're looking for a bar that's focused on durability, but you know, nice uh, damping effect, give that vibration, you know, a little bit ease in your wrists and your hands, the Spank VibroCore is gonna be the bar for you. If you're looking for something that you're gonna throw on your trail bike, you do a lot of trail riding, you want this, that nice, good aluminum feel, then the Renthal Fat Bar is gonna be that bar for you. It also looks sick, it's got that nice moto look as well, if that's something you're looking for. Um, if you're looking to do a lot more free riding, you really want that durability, weight isn't an issue for you, it's gonna look pretty sick on your bike, then go with the DCZ uh, over here. Uh, if you like this idea that 1UP's coming up with this oval shape for vertical compliance, um, but you want it in, you know, an aluminum field, then this one up is probably the bar for you. It's going to give you that nice vertical compliance, a nice comfort in your elbows and things like that. 
Um, and lastly, if ergonomics are your thing, if you're someone like myself that's you know dealing with long-term injuries and things like that, where you want to get out there and keep that pedal time high, then I would recommend going with something like the PNW uh, range here because those ergonomics, those different degrees and sweeps and stuff, is just going to help figure out where you feel comfortable on your bike. Um, and here at Jensen, our most important thing that we want you to do is get out there on your bike and have a great time. Put in the pedal time, have fun with your friends, get out there on a solo ride and clear your head after a long work week, whatever it may be. The importance here is to take and give you the choices that you need to make and make it easier for you to make those purchases and have a great time on your bike. If you have any further questions, make sure to reach out to our Gear Advisor Pros. They get out there, they ride all these products, they know firsthand knowledge and they're happy to answer those questions for you. Um, and as always, keep pedaling. Keep pedaling.